Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be solving math problem. And in our future uploads, we will also tackle about hydraulics and geotechnical problems. To begin with, we have our first math problem and that is, the sum of an arithmetic progression is 220 and the first term is 10 while the last term is 30. Determine the following. First is the number of terms, second is the middle term, and the last one is the eighth term. Now, the problem involves arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression by definition is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between each consecutive term is constant. Like for example, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16 and so on. We noticed that the difference between each consecutive term is 3, which is constant. This represents the first term, this is the second term, the third term, fourth term, and so on. In arithmetic progression, you should always remember these formulas. First is the sum, Sn is equals to 1 half multiplied by the sum of the first and last term, multiplied by the number of terms, n. Second is nth term, An equals to the first term, A1, plus, number of term, n, minus 1, multiply by the difference, d. And the last one is the position of the middle term, that is equals to 1 half multiplied by the number of terms, n, plus 1. Going back to the problem. The given datas are the following. Sum, Sn is equals to 220. The first term, A1 is 10. And the last term, An, is equals to 30. Now the first question is to find the number of terms, n. To solve this, we will use the formula, sum, Sn is equals to 1 half multiplied by the sum of the first and last term, multiply by the number of terms, n. To calculate for the number of terms n, we have n equals to 2Sn, divided by the sum of the first and last term. Plugging in all the values, the value of the number of terms, n, is equals to 11. And moving on to the next question, that is to find for the middle term, am. First, we need to find the middle term position, that is equals to 1 half multiplied by the number of terms, 11, plus 1. And that gives us 6. That means we can obtain the middle term, am, in the sixth term. Now to calculate for the common difference, d, we will be using the formula, an, equals to the first term a1, plus, number of terms minus 1, multiply by the difference, d. So we have, 30 equals to 10, plus 11, minus 1, multiply by the difference, d, and then calculating for the common difference, d, that gives us a value of 2. To calculate for the sixth term, using the formula a6 equals to the first term as 10, plus, the sixth term minus 1, multiply by the difference, 2. And that gives us a value of a6 equals to 20. Moving on to the last question, that is to find for the eighth term. We have a8 equals to the first term as 10, plus, the eighth term minus 1, multiply by the difference, 2. And that gives us a value of 8th term equals to 24. And that's it for this video. Please help this channel by liking this video. And to be updated for our future uploads, please subscribe and hit the notification bell button.